my prophet said, I tell you the truth, adorable. <laughs> I was speaking to her yesterday about some things. Now, my heavenly father was reminding me in my prayer time. So I'm going to tell you a story. <clears throat> Many will say, Lord, I love your stories. Others will say, I am not calling you Lord. The iceberg has broken off and is moving. So I was in a certain situation and I was led to this situation, taking the standard Christian walk. We had gone through the premarital counseling. We had first taken the steps to ensure she was baptized per the gospel. And what that is attributed to and goes back to the gospel. So then that becomes, well, how do we answer scripture when we are doing this new thing and the kingdom of heaven is what we are focused on and a part of. <clears throat> and we will, of course, allow my heavenly father, who, if you recall, in the gospel, glorify your name, father. I have glorified it and I will glorify it again. That is in the gospel. So, each confirmation that you receive is going to be personal for you and you'll have a story and a testimony. And many of you already have a testimony of, Lord, I got married and the devil attacked me through my spouse. So I was in the upper room <clears throat> of my church and it was the cleanest carpet I had ever seen. And you would take off your shoes and there was this map on the wall <clears throat> and I was sitting there. I was very thoroughly confused. And this covenant is what the church used to call it. It is a covenant marriage. <clears throat> and I said, Father, if you don't want me in this marriage, Pull me out. <clears throat> it had been a very lengthy and fire filled with the combination of being attacked at my workplace because I was at my workplace doing things for God and there was one individual that always came against it. Then there were five individuals that always came against it. Then it became, my prayer was, I don't have the courage to quit because I have a family to take care of this woman and her son. and these family responsibilities. But if you don't want me at this place, please fire me. 
and I was led to minister in that workplace and was eventually fired. In the upper room, my Heavenly Father had told me, walk over to the map and point out every nation you want. I will give it to you. A popular doctrine that was preached at the time. Ask of the nations. Ask of me. And I will give you the nations. I am giving you the nations. I picked out every single part. Except Antarctica. <laughs> My heavenly father was laughing about that. So your confirmation in this season will revolve around <clears throat> because you are perfectly safe you are protected the door is closed and you are in the kingdom of heaven the scripture says the king will become enraged and he will throw them out he will say how did you get in here you are not dressed in righteousness, but on the outside, who gave you that clothing? <clears throat> All words directed from the gospel to lead you to the truth, the gospel. <clears throat> so all of that has occurred, beloveds, but it has not happened to you. And I use that as a <clears throat> determining factor of one day I'm going to rescue Cherie Montoya. One day I am going to stand in her apartment because she had said, if you are really Jesus, appear in my apartment. Now it did not happen <clears throat> as she thought it would happen. It happened rather when you sit down two opposing players at a chess table, when both are knowledgeable about the game, one move can determine, even though it has not played out, you already know what the other one is going to do. And one says, you win, but it doesn't have to play out. The gospel tells you what I am going to do. What I have done, I am revealing to you so that you are comfortable, so that you do understand. My God ordained marriages are going to happen. Your prodigals played chess with God. And in my loving embrace, <clears throat> what you really wanted is here. You wanted to serve your king together. And all of that is completely irrelevant when you understand <clears throat> that is what makes you happy and it's what makes your spouse happy. Then it does not seem like it is a chore. It does not seem like these sensations of God wants me to do this or these the Lord only told me this much. Seems so scary. You are serving me in order to learn my ways, in order to come closer to me, in order to arrive at where we always knew spiritually 
You have the capability because of who you are, who your spirit is, what your spirit's name is. Elishiva. And in the heavenlies, everything is under God's watchful eye. My wife got me that <clears throat> and that. Well, she got bleach on the black one. So, <clears throat> I sent my wife a box and I always compared her to, something's about to be revealed, but not yet. <clears throat> rose from the Titanic. I had sat in my tabernacle where she was supposed to someday walk into and be surprised with loving, I will say trinkets. And I was telling her the modern church system believes that you will someday pursue instead of me is like the Titanic it's coming to an end because I am here. Everything has changed. That's from your heavenly father, babe. <laughs> my sheep know my voice and they follow me and they will not follow another. So keeping you out of the situations I've already experienced, but walked it with my heavenly father. Gives me that testimony. It gives me that. This is 100% truth. And I have the evidence, testimony, words, and my heavenly father always confirms everything. so that I can walk you through it. You have a king that is a shepherd. So instead I sent the box to her. There was tokens of my affection in it. And then I showed up and rescued her. So that's why that confirmation is important. Kind of the Sheree on top. <clears throat> you guys in your God-ordained marriages, a lot of times what you're not understanding is the motives and the thoughts towards you in your exact situation at this exact moment. even if it does not appear or seem or feel as if love has dictated where you are right now. In our eyes, we're looking at where you could be, but are not. You're positioned, but you are in the kingdom of heaven. You are in Christ. You are known. I'm supposed to leave it at that. I love you. I heard perfect. <clears throat>